Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel. In this video, we can continue how to make like a sidebar proper way. Also, we need to make active classes. So we can see it like a here, suppose I can go to admin. So we need to show here like admin selection. Suppose I can click on the logout, so showing the logouts and which we need to make like a one listing about admin proper way. Right now you can see it like a here not showing look like better. So we need to make like a same like a proper way. And also we need to remove here. Also we need to change here names. Everything we can do proper way. And also we need to remove this ones. And also here like this is the we don't want to use. So we need to remove notification and we can leave this. Suppose future we need to use about that function. So we can leave it. So we need to make like a clean themes here. So let's open the tab means let's open the codes. I already opened my project so you can open your projects and just go to admin inside into go layout inside into open like header.blade.php. Let's make some zoom outs. So first of all, I will remove the like a full screen. So right clicks and swag elements and I just copy what is the name here there. So I copy and I can go. Okay. I think this is the full screen function. So just I am removing and I go back again refresh the page so you can see it now it's not showing also we need to make a, this is the dynamic like a dashboard dashboard suppose I go to admin set so admin we need to do like this okay so let's go back again and everything is good now so we need to remove like uh, this is this one we don't need now user profiles here so I think this is the part for the user profiles okay remove the refresh the page Yes, and we can change here like e-commerce. We don't want to need a like logo, simple e-commerce. So here is already there. So just remove this one. And also we don't need like index3.html. Just we can type it like JavaScript. Otherwise we need to type like a hash, whatever do you want to like. And here we can change like a e-commerce. And let's go back again, refresh the page. So you can see it like e-commerce. Let's make a center. So look like better this reasons text align center font void bold okay i think it's already there bold this reasons okay text align center font went lights here because there i can type like bold otherwise i can change this one so working okay so let's text align center i copy and i can put here also I remove this class we don't need this class and just go back again refresh the page so look like better like e-commerce otherwise we need to remove to make a div here so so let's see how it looks show just go back again refresh the page and checks okay look like better like e-commerce here is the dashboards here is the admins and here is like a some other menu but we need to remove the other menu we don't need now so just go back and remove the other menu so let's remove this is this menu also we can remove other menu so we need to use the menu so we need to copy again same themes right now we don't need just remove okay i removed uh, i refresh the page so like simple dashboard admin and logout let's create a uh, active class suppose we can go here so just we need to active class for this one no need to make a dashboard and let's open this is the admin list so we can make it like full size so the right side means left side showing the look like better also we need to go down so just we can go back again and open the admin admin list and here we can put like class let's go to dashboards and just copy content wrapper and paste here let's go to back again refresh the page so look like better this reason you can see it now it's going to down also we need to change like copyright we don't want to show like this copyright so just i can copy ecommerce.com after whatever do you have website you can type here but i just type like ecommerce.com layout inside app and just go to like a footers and here we need to remove like we don't want to need a version so just removing and copyright 2000 so just we need to use here use a date function dollar date sorry only date here make it y and also we don't want to need a like a link so just remove and just we can make ecommerce.com all right reserve so just go back and check how it's look show okay so let's go to back and checks so let like look like better let's make some pieces here 
and refresh so you can see like copyright at c and 2020 e-commerce.com all rights res reserved so is the footer also good so they go to admin list so also this one good so suppose i go to dashboard list so it's same like look like better okay now we need to make an active class for this one suppose i can go to admin so admin active suppose i go to dashboard so dashboard active so just go back to header.blade.php and here is a already add an active class so how to use a segment so just search in google segment in laravel search you can go to first one i think you can get it simple just copy and we can show you about the segment what is the meaning about segment so just i can print and i can show you okay let's i print here like segment so sidebar you can see it i just i just save and i go back and i refresh the page so you can see it like a admin because of the first one suppose i go to dashboard so you can see it like a admin means first one suppose second segment so let's make here two so you can see it like a dashboard here you see dashboards so i can go to admin so here is the admin second segment so you can see it like admin so let's make like a condition works if i can remove i go just up and i can type like if segment is equal to is equal to two, dashboard means this one so is active and and if same thing we can do inside a admin so just copy and put here and also you can pass here like a admin okay so let's because second segment is a admin so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like we are there inside admin means admin page so admin show so we go to the dashboard so showing the dashboard let's make another all menu like a products so we can using like add product edit product and delete product so just we can change here like a product i just showing the menu after we can implement about products so same like product list so like this products but this route is not created so it's impossible work but i just show look like better this reason i am adding a products you can see it like admin products after you can make add like customers orders everything we can add reports we can do it one by one but one we can start like a simple way first we can make like admin add and delete after we need to create like a products after this product whatever created we need to show like a front side front side we can make like a login register for the customer and after we need to show here like a customers okay so we are done like a active class and dashboards now we need to make here suppose i am going to admin dashboard so dashboard e-commerce admin e-commerce like this we can show title whatever do you want to like but i will make a dynamic so you can use it so just open like a routes dot routes inside web.php because we are direct equal so just we need to create a controller so i already opened my terminal inside my projects let's make some zoom out so you can easily understand okay so i just type php artisan make controller dashboard controller i create one folder like admin inside a http admin folder inside we need to create a dashboard controller because we don't want to make a mix up suppose front side work we can do inside a controller and admin work we can do inside admin folder so just we can change here like a dashboard controller dashboard uh, let's make a, i can make here because i don't want to make a spelling mistake to just copy and i can remove and i paste here i press the enter so taking few seconds after automatic created so just wait few seconds because the first time i open right now this isn't taking time you can see it like a controller successfully created also here is a automatic create a folder so just we need to declare above and just copy and change and here we need to add a like admin because we create a new folder this reasons okay so i open this dashboard dot con dashboard controller and also we need to pass like admin dashboard to controller just copy this line and put here and just change this routes 
and here also make like a dashboards and also you can change like a watch control to dashboard controller and I can comment at this course and go to dashboard controller inside we need to create a new function like dashboards and just return whatever written inside a web.php so just you can copy and paste here okay so let's remove this one we don't need now anymore and i will save this both file dashboard controller and web.php i just go back again and refresh the page and click on the dashboard so it's working very well no issue okay because controller inside going so let's make a die and i can show you i save i refresh the page it's stopping so it's 100 percent working now we need to pass here like a header means uh, here is a showing like a simple header like you can see let's save and go back again and refresh the page so you can see it like a admin lte3 dashboard 3 like this look show we don't want to show like this we need to show like a dashboard slash e-commerce so just we need to pass here like a data header titles just we need to create a one data inside header titles and inside we can type like a dashboard so we need to pass like a data here okay so just go to layouts layout inside go to appblade.php here we need to change so first we need to make condition here if is not empty dollar added sidebar so we need to print and also we need to write here static like a e-commerce so let's go back again what i did i can explain again first create a one data inside i have passed inside views data and after app.blade.php we can type like a header header title is not empty so it's going to inside otherwise not because why i'm doing so for sometimes showing the undefined variable suppose you can't pass here so it's showing the undefined variable i can show you this is i have made a conditions okay so just go back again and refresh the page so you can see it so you can see dashboard e-commerce whatever words i can type here like a dashboard one i can type here so also showing the dashboard one e-commerce you see suppose i can remove this ones okay and i can remove this here passing data and i go back again refresh the page so not found anything this reason showing only e-commerce because we have right here static this reason why i would use the is, is not empty because not generate the error suppose value found so print otherwise value not found so not print and not generate the error otherwise showing the undefined variable this reason i am using always is not empty okay so let's go back again and control chats and i refresh the page so you can see it same like we can create a like admin controller i think we need to create a admin controller in next video because i need to explain about admin module like one video this reason so some same like i will create an admin controller otherwise you need to go here and just go to webs and here you can type like a dollar data header titles is equal to admin i am just trying because i have not tried before but 100 percent work just you can pass here your data so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it working very well so i go to dashboard so it's showing the dashboard suppose i go into admin so it's the admin because our file only app.blade.php this reason so but next video i will explain how to make like a admin add edit deletes and in this video i will explain loud how to make a clean the themes like a, how to make a title how to make a active classes all things we have set up in this video so next video we can continue about the admin module and i hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching